Hello everyone. Today we are again going to go through a point of mechatronics or rather a basic component from an electronic side that is a seven segment display which is again a data representation component. Okay, so let's start with seven segment display. So what is a seven segment display? A seven segment display in short SSD or a seven segment indicator is a form of electronic display device for displaying decimal numerals. The seven segment display consists of seven LEDs arranged in a rectangular fashion. Each of the seven LEDs are called a segment. Each segment is labeled from a to G and a decimal point by DP. By forward biasing the LEDs glow and desired character pattern or number is displayed. So in this figure uh, you are looking at a seven segment display okay. So you can see here A, B, F, G, C, D, E and DP. So a b c d e f g so likewise a b c d e f g these are seven LEDs that is seven characters and a de uh, decimal point dp so such in such a fashion the seven segment display is uh, represented and here actual seven segment display for single digit is shown with the connections so the connections we will go through the connections in detail in later part of this video so you can see the connections here for these one two three four five six seven segments and one decimal point so you can use directly this seven segment display for displaying different numbers and characters okay so what are those so possibilities of representation are definitely we can represent the numbers uh, integers from 0 to 9 on the seven segment display very easily so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 these are the, the uh, integers from or decimal digits you can say we can represent on a single seven segment display then different characters which can be displayed are again enlisted here a b c d e f h i j l n o p r s u y and z these are the alphabets or characters which can be again represented on a seven segment display or an ssg so these are different possibilities which can be presented on a single SSD. So now basically uh, what is an LED that will be the point now uh, we have already gone through the LED but uh, we will just refresh the knowledge. The main element needed to manufacture a 7 segment display are LEDs because we know a 7 segment display is made up of 7 segments each segment is an LED. So 7 LEDs are used. Okay. So, we must have the review of LEDs. A light emitting diode that is LED is essentially a PN junction optosemiconductor device that emits a light by electroluminescence in the UV or visible or infrared regions of the electromagnetic spectrum when operated in a forward biased direction. LEDs convert electrical energy into light energy. Okay. So, this is the structure of an LED, we are having two electrodes, anode and cathode and then we can go through the different parts of the LED like there is an epoxy lens or case, then there is a wire bond between anode and cathode, then reflective cavity is present and there 
the semiconductor die is also present then and will post that is need frames are there okay so this is the structure of led and i think uh, you have now recalled how the light emitting diode works so next part that is operating of operating principle of a led so led works on the principle of electroluminescence that is el is an optical phenomenon and electrical phenomenon in which a material emits light in response to the passage of an electrical current through it or to a strong electric field okay so electroluminescence is the result of a radiative recombination keep in mind that how led works that is uh, in short presented here then how the leds are arranged in a seven segment display that can be seen so this is a b c d e f and g these seven segments of a ssd are shown here and the leds are connected in such different fashion in a ssd okay so these are the this is the arrangement of leds again uh, here the decimal point is not shown it is also a, is having a separate led for representing a decimal point so this is a seven segment display made up of seven leds okay so now different types are there for a seven segment display the ssd common pin is generally used to identify which type of seven segment display it is okay so as each led has two connecting pins that we know that uh, one is called as anode and other one is called as a cathode so therefore there are two types of led seven segment displays based on these two that is common cathode cc or common anode ca okay the difference between the two displays are as their name suggest is that the common cathode has all the cathodes of the seven segments connected directly together and the common anode has all the anodes of the seven segments connected together and is illuminated as follows so we can see here so first type that is common cathode or cc ssd seven segment display so you can see here we are having a b c d e f g the seven segments are there and all seven segments are having leds so these are all seven leds and what is done all the cathodes here the cathode means the negative electrode of the all the leds are connected together and grounded okay and we are going to provide the vcc that is voltage to these separate leds for uh, representing separate segment or directly in the uh, pictorial format of the ssd you can see here these are a b c d e f g electrodes uh, which are anodes and the ground that is the cathode ground electrode is shown here which is a common cathode electrode so uh, so all the here for dp connection is not shown in pictorial view but we will go through that also again so here a b c d e f g all are connected anode anodes are separate but cathode is connected commonly so we can provide uh, vcc here and here it is a grounded so it can directly uh, work accordingly okay uh, so this is common cathode ssd then this is a common anode ssd again you can see here the anodes of each led are connected to a common line and cathodes are separated okay again a b c d e f g so here what we are going to do is we are going to give vcc to this anode and these are separately grounded so whatever the supply is going from this positive v to ground so here it is a common anode here again in this view you can see the common anode is present and all the seven segment this seven segments are having their separate cathodes which are grounded okay so likewise there are two types common anode and common cathode type of seven segment displays okay and the pin configuration like we have there are total 10 pins uh, five on each side for uh, in the first view we have gone through that 
right so how that pins work so here see uh, for the upper part five pins are on present on the upper side of this connection and for the lower part five pins are connected on the uh, lower side so here we can see this is connection for g then for f then ground then for a and then for b okay so these five pins are for upper part upper four leds okay that is g f a and b and here as it is a common cathode you can uh, see here all the cathodes one two three four are connected to a common line which is coming from the ground you can see here this is the ground line again it is going towards the bottom side ground line so this is the ground line uh, which is a common cathode line and all the uh, cathodes of each diode are connected to that ground line and anodes are separately connected to each pin so here the anode of g pin then anode of f uh, f segment then anode of a segment and then anode of b segment so a b g f this is the upper part upper four leds are connected on this side then the lower part that is e d then again ground as we see then c and this is for the decimal point okay so these are again having a common ground as we have seen so the anode of e is, is sorry cathode of e is connected here then the cathode of c is connected here cathode of d is connected here okay so and again cathode of dp is connected here so all the cathodes are again connected uh, commonly on this ground side and the anodes are again having separate pins so uh, we are going to provide uh, the supply through these anode pins and the cathode pin is grounded on the uh, both parts so total eight leds uh, including this dp need to be connected so upper uh, four will be connected on one side and the lower four will be connected on the other side uh, in the same manner for common anode type again we can see here uh, the same configuration is there but only the difference is instead of ground pin now we are having a vcc pins means as it is a common anode we need to sup uh, give supply through this uh, vcc line to all the leds and these uh, separate pins will be grounded for completion of the circuit okay so nothing else will change okay only uh, in this configuration as connections are same the uh, you can see here symbols of leds are uh, in opposite direction so that we can have the same uh, line diagram uh, to keep we have just changed the uh, symbolic representation of the LEDs in opposite direction so that we can get an idea. Now uh, cathodes of all the LEDs are separate but anode is common so that can be seen from this picture okay. So this is the uh, pin configuration of a uh, 7 segment display. Now uh, how we can drive this SSD uh, using uh, there are again two methods first is using switches means uh, how can we uh, make on different segments so this is the configuration or this is the electrical circuit for that so here the uh, common anode uh, ssd is used you can see here for the common line plus 5 volt supply is given to pro through this common anode and all the cathodes a b c d e f g and d p so all these cathodes are connected to different eight switches uh, then uh, it is connected to ground zero volt that is grounded and again these lines uh, go through uh, resistors towards the switches so again there are uh, as specifically mentioned here uh, 8 into 220 ohms is the uh, total resistance uh, each resistor ha is having 220 ohm resistance and such 8 resistors for 8 lines are used here and these are the switches a b c d e f g and d p okay whichever the switch is on that segment is going to glow or lit uh, okay and these resistors resistances or resistors are used again for the safety of the circuit 
so uh, current limiting resistors are th there okay so in such a manner uh, by using switches we can operate this uh, ssd uh, how that can be seen here the segments of common anode display can be illuminated using the switches in this a low condition is required to active the led segments on this common anode display example to eliminate the decibel number 4 on a display the switches b c f and g should be closed to light the corresponding led segment see uh, to display number 4 b c f g okay so to display number 4 so this is b c f g so we do a 1 2 3 and 4 these four segments can be lit to represent a number 4 b c and f g so these switches b c and f g these four switches must be closed so that the circuit will be completed and we can display a number 4 on a ssd okay so that is uh, for uh, driving an ssd using switches the next is uh, driving an SSD using IC 4511. Okay. Uh, sorry for the printing mistake here. It is 4511. Okay. Uh, so this is the 4511 BCD to uh, seven segment decoder. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are we will be having a four bit BCD that is binary coded decimal input. Uh, so again. Uh, this is uh, uh, the type where it is called as a common cathode display say common cathode display common cathode is grounded and we will be providing uh, the supply to the all the different anodes of all the uh, uh, segments a b c d e f g okay so again there are uh, current limiting resistors present in the line and here it is a uh, IC 4511 so which is a 7 segment decoder so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, give a supply through this uh, 4 bit binary B, uh, coded decimal input that is BCD ABCD and that will be uh, given through this IC to the uh, different segments again this IC works on separate 15 uh, volt supply so in such a manner again uh, whatever the bcd is given accordingly uh, the segments will be displayed so seven segment displays are usually driven by a special type of integrated uh, circuit ic like cmos 4511 this seven segment display driver is able to eliminate both common anode or common cathode displays the bcd is to seven segment driver takes a four bit bcd input and has outputs that will pass current through the segments to the display decimal digit okay so now uh, output display i have shown here in tabulated format uh, which segment should be on and which segment should be off to display different digits and characters okay so uh, see here for digit so these are the digits and these are the segments a b c d e f g so a b c d e f and g okay uh, we are not uh, going to go through uh, dp here because uh, dp that is decimal point is needed when we are going to uh, represent some fraction number here we are going to uh, show only integer okay as it is just a single ssd okay uh, we need combination of such uh, ssds different ssds to uh, so if we need two digit then we need two ssds connected then three digit three ssds must be there and if it is a four digit then four ssds must be connected together okay so here we can see for zero a b c d e f are on only g is off that is only the middle portion that g is off all other must be on likewise you can see for one b and c only on for two a b a b on then c is off c and f are off means this is off and this is off so two a b g e d likewise we show the two so it is simple for eight almost on see here for eight almost on 
So I am not going to go through each and every point here. For six, only one is off. That is B. This is off. Okay. Likewise, you can uh, represent capital A small B capital C small D E and F capital E capital F again can be shown. So uh, these are the different combinations of segments which must be on and which must be off. so that we can represent that number and character okay so conclusion from this uh, presentation is that a seven segment display provides a convenient way to display decimal numbers in digital form it is helpful in general purpose devices and reduces the complexity data deliver it is used in many devices for our day to day life like in traffic signal in watches in cds and dvd players etc so it is a very simpler component uh, which is uh, used for the data representation uh, i hope this presentation will be uh, convenient thank you